Hello, I'm Mary Lysenring, and I'm a training expert for the Census Bureau. Did you know you can create customized thematic maps using data.census.gov? And it's easier than you think. So for this data gem, I've invited my colleague to walk us through the steps on how to do this. Let's check it out. Hi, I am Viviana Garcia. One of the best features of data.census.gov is creating a visualization of data in the form of a map. In this data gem, I'll walk you through creating a thematic map using data.census.gov. Let's just say I want to explore what's available for health insurance. I'm going to type health insurance into the search bar on the landing page and hit the search button. There are many tables that come up. I can scroll down and view tables, maps, and pages. In this example, I will hover over geographies on the left-hand side. I will select county, then I'm going to select New York. I will select all counties within New York. There are several tabs on the top. I am going to click on maps. You will see the state of New York highlighted. Now we need to pick a data table. I will select S2704 public health insurance coverage by type and selected characteristics. Now I have data for all the counties in New York. The data variable that I have selected isn't quite what I want. Right now the table is showing percent public coverage, civilian, non-institutionalized population estimate. Let's say I want to know the number of people who have public health insurance coverage. I'm going to use the data variable menu to change it to number instead of percent, I will then select public coverage estimate. The map and legend will automatically update to reflect this variable. Now let's say I want to look at a map using a different table. Let's scroll down the list on the left until we find table B27001, health insurance coverage status by sex by age. Click on the table title to update the map for this table. Notice that it's still showing data for the counties in New York. However, the data variable is now total estimate. Again, I can use the data variable menu to change the variable to a different one. Like the total estimate for males ages 26 through 34 with no health insurance coverage. Let's go over the ribbon located directly above the map for a moment. I can use this to select another geography by clicking on the select button. Clicking on the geography that I want and dragging the cursor over the geographies that I want in order to create this rectangle. Any geographies that touch the rectangle will be selected. If I want to remove a specific county, I will click on the select button again, click on the county and deselect. Above the map, I am going to click on More Tools. The drop-down will appear and I will select the Notes button. This will provide all the data notes for the table and map. Click on the X to close it out. You will have the option to make customizations to the map by clicking on colors above the map. You can change the color palette by selecting the drop-down arrow. I like this purple-hued palette, so I'm going to select this. I can also change the number of data classes and the classification types. I will change the data classes from 5 to 6. Notice that the legend automatically updates. I'm going to leave the classification type as a natural break. Another option that you'll see is the table button. Clicking on this will give you a list of the estimates for geographies you've selected for quick viewing. This is very similar to the geographic comparison tables the ACS used to have. If I select View Full Table button, I'll go to the Full Source table, but I can easily select the Map button again to go back to the map. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you! I just love how convenient it is to switch to a different table and select a new variable to create a completely different map. We hope you found this video helpful. 
Tell us what you like about the mapping feature or if there's any other questions you have about data.census.gov. And for more videos like this one, be sure to go to census.gov forward slash academy and subscribe. Thank you.